And six months later, still no closure for our Wilmington family. Someone murdered Michael Melvin back in May. It was the city's first homicide in five years. Tonight, police are still looking for the killer, but they tell us they are making some progress in this investigation. Nine on your sides, Jake Ryle spoke with family members about the emotional toll this case is having this time of year. It's been a tough six months for Alicia Robinson and her two kids. You know, they're scared to come out here in the streets because they know that somebody killed her dad and they think somebody's going to come after me or them. In May, her kid's father, Michael Melvin, was shot and killed in an SUV on Grant Street. Thanksgiving's coming, Christmas is coming. With each passing day. My kids don't have a dad anymore. Her family's focus on their 10 and 14 year old kids. So they can go on and move on with their lives because that's what's holding them back because they want to know who did this to their dad. Just after the deadly shooting, Wilmington police said they were following up on 50 leads. Six months later, zero arrests. Police say they're hoping someone will come forward. The family is wanting closure. Police tell me they have a good idea of who might have fired the shots, but need someone to come forward to confirm. Nobody wants to come forward and say anything. I mean, they want to do he say, she say, you know, and don't want to come forward. Mike was so good to everybody out here. Is this crazy that nobody wants to speak up for it? Alicia goes through pictures, memories of what's left behind. This holiday season, she says the best gift would come unexpected. I just want justice for my kids for Christmas. As a family holds out hope. They're going to have to answer to this one way or the other. If it ain't from us, if it ain't from the law, it's from God above. In Wilmington. I think it'll give us a peace of mind. You know, the family, we all, like I said, need closure, you know. Jake Ryle, nine on your side.